Hey, so we got the chimp story. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. One of the best stories since uh, coming to satellite radio. People just don't realize that animals are fucking animals. They're just animals. And chimps, no matter how adorable they are on TV, whether you were watching them years ago on Ed Sullivan doing little backflips, or you watch them on the nature shows... And the camera, yeah, you ever see the one where they put the camera on the ground and the little chimp goes right up to the lens and and his eyes get real big over by the camera lens. He pulls away. He's very curious. Oh, it's adorable. But they are wild animals with a strength you cannot even imagine. <laughs> when, when you're getting limbs ripped off with just their hands, that they could grab your ankle and your foot and pull and your foot comes right off your ankle. I, 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 and I can't lie to you. I'm a, I'm a big. I think you know this, but I'm a big animal guy. Like I just you love, I love I animals. Yeah. And I love when they do things like that. I can't get I enough. I love when even, they attack. Even after the st at stake of their own lives. Yeah. Because people are now like this guy is now going to be Mister. You know something has to be done with chimpanzees. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Some shark yeah. bites your leg off. It's like you. It is. What it is, it's yeah. a shark. It just, it just doesn't have a You make a great a point, thought. too, because like, uh, when a shark does that, their first thought is we got to find the shark Hunt and kill it. Down. Destroy the yeah. shark. It is what it is. Or the mountain lions that take the, the hiker out. They're just doing what they're supposed yeah, that's to do like on you, this earth. They're doing their yeah. job. <laughs> now as humans, are like, well, this this mountain lion I, obviously is crazy. we got to go find it and shoot it. Imagine you're sitting down for a burger somewhere. You're eating. You're dabbing your ketchup off of your mouth with a napkin. And a cow just unloads on your head with a rifle because you're fucking eating. You're like, what the fuck? Is, what? I'm eating. That kid, that just I'm being a human. Me, man. We are so fucking pompous. That even better, the zoo shit. When you're stupid enough to reach your arm into the, the panda cage, and the panda now rips off your arm or whatever. But they're adorable, you. the pandas. And they uh, they rescue you, but now they got to kill the panda, obviously. The panda was crazy. Yeah, the, the, the panda's out of control. The elephant that just... Yeah. Why wouldn't they just make... That the goes bullshit, knocks the friggin' gates down. I love when they put the, the, the elephants in these big cages with those huge wooden gates and shut it. And the elephant at any time is looking going, I could knock through that in a second... And this, uh, right when I'm pissed off, that's what I'm going to do. And then one guy will do something like take the whip to a kneecap, trying to get him to kneel, yeah. and the elephant doesn't want to. Yeah. And then he does it one time too many. Yeah. Boom, over Johnny. Through the fence. He's going through a fucking mini mart. He's in the parking lot throwing children in the air. You ever touch a horse? You just put your hand on the power of a horse. Yeah. yeah. People you kill feel me that with muscle. the disrespect they have for animals, man. I, I, and when they do things like this, it's like, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's great. You know, you kill the animal for doing what animals are supposed to do, especially uh, like we said, the, the elephant and in the zoo uh, environment. But then as humans, there's a horrific murder, some small kid. Yeah. You get the guy. Gets a lawyer. We don't talks kill about him. his upbringing. We don't kill what him. happened to him? Why, don't we why get to he kill did him? this? It was self-defense. It right. was a raped when a kid. And it's it was worse this, when that. we do it right. because his thought process. Right. right. But, it's, but, like, it's, but it's, it's not just like your food. I'm uh, gonna eat you. But a stupid visitor yeah. at the zoo is poking a panda, so the panda, you know, gets revenge. Oh, we got it. Obviously, we got to kill gotta the panda. Kill him. He's insane. I love when this happens. <laughs> yeah. I just. It love... makes me laugh every time I when just... I see that shit on the news. I tell you, I daydream all the time about clubbing a baby seal clubber. <laughs> just oh, the baby seal just clubber. Just clubbing the baby seal clubber, and just I, I would just... love to do it. I want to know what kind of guy can do can that job. Can do that. Can do that job. I don't care how hardcore you are to take a club. And have you ever seen their those little seals, adorable face? Those, those it is about Anthony, the cutest that thing. Anthony face. I got their little <laughs> eyes going blink, blink. <laughs> a be, between a, a baby Anthony seal, <laughs> I would say between a baby seal and a little puggle, a baby seal. The cutest, most adorable thing. There is nothing cuter than a little baby seal on the ice. They look up at you. Whiskers are twitching. Look at the picture of them. It's adorable. How can you do that? And you're taking a club just and a, bashing yeah, them over the head. Just before you take the bat to the head, you see the little thing the going. Little blink face. Blink. And don't get me wrong. I don't care how many are left. I don't care if it's like, do you know we shouldn't club them because they're almost extinct? Or uh, you can get a synthetic fiber that feels like that. It has nothing to do with that with me. 
It's just that he's cute as a little bug <laughs> deer. Just to smash him in the head. And look I go, at his eyes. And I go, look at that little Anthony face. It's like, you know what it is? If I was can't a Mexican, you, I'd try to take him you, to the bushes. Can't you, um, can't you put, can't you put chloroform on his face? <laughs> Something. Can't you chloroform him? Can't you just, you know, he's so cute, you could probably just sing him a lullaby. <laughs> and he'd go right to sleep. <laughs> How can you do that? I don't know. Adorable. I don't know. I couldn't even club a rhinoceros. It's like <laughs> a big ugly rhino. Like he just go, ow! You'd wind up, hit him once, he'd be all hurt, and he'd be, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, rhino. Oh, the, I'm if he sorry. Rhino, he just goes, ah, ow, what's what? all about? <laughs> Why? Listen to this guy from Tennessee. Tim? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, uh, back in the 40s, in the town where I live at, uh, they had a a elephant that went crazy during a circus and killed like five people. They hang it. They hanged the elephant from a train crane because it was the only thing big enough that they could use to kill the elephant. Yeah, they gave they gave him a hanging. They hung him. They hung that. Boy. I, I did hear about this. I don't remember what it wasn't. Jumbo was it? No, it was called uh, Murderous Mary. Was her name? Ain't that uh, a guy? Murderous God Mary. Bitch. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, there's a picture that Eric found of a guy getting ready to club a seal. Don't show me. What that, is that man. guy thinking? Don't show me that. Does he go home and take his I kids to soccer look. practice? Look, look. <laughs> it's looking up at him. It's talking to him. I've been alive for going 25 blank, years, blank. and I'm gonna tell you something. Remember that show that used to come on? Those Amazing Animals. Or, yes. Oh yeah. It. They, I. It's the number one thing that's bothered me in my entire. I have I don't have visions of things that's left in my head except for that. Those amazing and animals. And what bothered me was not only that is that the mother seals scream. Yes. When they that's do. happening, man. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. This is gym. one of the I worst things. I would love things. to club a dude. Well, well, here's a little payback from the animal world. God bless this. It's monkey. the guy. <laughs> what show oh. is this on? Good morning, America. Good morning, America. He was sitting there. Uh, they're interviewing him for the oh, first time, I guess, live. Thank you. Kim. Oh, it's just the cutest <laughs> thing. Look at that little head. <laughs> you just want to take your index finger, go under his chin, and scratch it, because you know the eyes would shut halfway and its nose would twitch. <laughs> I hope the other, I hope the other monkeys every time, you know, they just do this in solidarity. Uh, put the fist in the air during monkey feeding time. They just do the the. Uh, go, yeah. Yeah. 1972 Olympic fist. Oh, rip your balls <laughs> off too, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, feeding time. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Chip power. Chip power, baby. <laughs> so here's the story. We got to get into this because the audio is really good. Yeah. Uh, what, what what is the story? They used to they used to own a chimp. Own this chimp, right? Not, not the same chimp that attacked them. Oh, really? No, they owned another chimp. The chimp got uh, a little rambunctious around the house once it grew up, got a little violent, so they took it to this chimp preserve, or a place where you could the take chimp the farm. chimp. The chimp farm. Well, on the, this chimp's birthday, they, they visit the chimp and whatever. So on this chimp's birthday, they brought the chimp a birthday cake. So they go into the uh, <laughs> enclosure to give their chimp the birthday cake. There's an other chimps in there that are get a little pissed off, I guess, that they're bringing this chimp the birthday cake. Run over. Bite the woman's finger off. They bit her finger off. And then proceeded to attack the guy, ripping apart his face, um, his testicles. They ripped off his, his soft, testicles. Meaty testicles. His <laughs> soft, meaty testes were ripped from his body. And his um, his foot. They ripped his foot off. I thought they went after his fingers one at a time, they, too. No, they were biting off his, his thumb. Yeah. Uh, his, that was just like the major things was his face, his balls, and his yeah. foot. But his entire body was chewed. His butt, they rolled him over and started eating his ass. <laughs> uh, these chimps, insane. They just... The chimp tossed the salad? They tossed oh, the yeah. salad. <laughs> they started eating his ass. Woo! And uh, they finally got him away from him. Like eating and, it... Literally, eat, not licking as we call no, eating, he, but taking like his buttocks, his his cheeks, and biting chunks out of his ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> now the uh, now the chimp is being represented by a Jewish uh, lawyer. A Jewish uh, lawyer. <laughs> oh, he was I indeed like, hungry. He, he was sick <laughs> when he was offered the birthday cake. <laughs> chimp, what did you say? <laughs> Did you off? Did he offer you any of this delicious birthday cake? <laughs> Ju ladies and gentlemen, the jury, you heard him say no. I said. <laughs>
All right, here we go. Audio. That's a bad motherfucking chimp. Yeah. Here's some of the backstory, and then we get the audio of the guy, the survivor. Tony, we're going to turn next to the California man who was savagely attacked by the animals he loves, <laughs> chimpanzees. It is the first time that St. James Davis has actually been able to speak because he had a six-month hospital stay and more than two dozen operations. Oh. St. James Davis and his wife became well-known after adopting and raising a chimp in their home named Mo. But when they went to celebrate Mo's 39th birthday at an animal sanctuary last year, well, it was a terrible scene. <laughs> yeah, it was. Mo, Larry and Curly jumped in <laughs> on the attack. Well, <laughs> here, they, here they describe the attack. Why, Listen. you? I hear he was poked in the eyes with uh, the chimp's fingers. <laughs> And then he should have put his the palm of his hand yeah, up against yeah, the bridge yeah, yeah. of his nose think, to stop the attack. Do you think it was all fury? Or at some point the chimp was like, oh, what are we going to do to this nigga next? Let's chew his ass. I'm going to chew his ass out. And he's yeah. just, this guy's in pain or it's just pure fury. It is just this animal instinct. for so Something clicked in this chimp where that guy was a threat to the chimp. In some way, shape, or form. Sexually, a threat to his superiority among the other chimps. There's something that kicks into that chimp mind. And there's no, there's no sitting him down and going, dude, the chicks, are, the chicks are yours, man. Take the cake. I'm leaving. I'm getting in the car. And the chimp is sitting there going, oh, 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 shaking his head. Oh, okay. That's real Greystoke shit going that on. That shit oh, yeah, is what? so primal and goes back so far behind before we were even rolling out of a caves. This goes, that shit was there. This goes deep into the DNA. There's no reasoning. <laughs> we haven't even thing. discovered that part of the DNA oh, yet. Dude, <laughs> dude, there's plenty of girls here. Dude, hey, no, 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 I understand. They're your chimp girls. I'm not here for the chimp girls. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> then we're cool. I'm diabetic anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Keep the cake. Keep Keep the, the cake. cake, baby. All right, here we go. They describe the attack. Uh, do they uh, dis describe uh, the eating of the balls on Good I Morning don't, America? We'll, we'll have to see. It's a little risque. Last March, a visit on Moe's birthday took a violent hey, no. and tragic turn when two chimpanzees in nearby cages attacked St. James, mauling his body and face, nearly killing him. After months of intensive care, including an induced coma to help him heal, St. James finally returned home, disfigured but not disheartened from his lifelong love for Mo. Boring. Lifelong Mauled love his face. for Mo. Mauled his Mo. face and his body. They don't talk about the eating of the ass. No, they, 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 they he's ripping, ripping off, off, off of testicles. his balls. <laughs> he ripped his <laughs> Ripped balls his off. balls off. Well, ripped his foot off and ate his ass. But they have to clean it up for middle America. But you know what? He had to... At some point, he, he had to be unconscious when this monkey just kept from, ravaging. From what I heard, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was trying to fight it off. His wife was also trying to fight yeah. it off, and she lost a finger. After the in fact, the fight, they, I'll beat a monkey's ass. I don't huh. give a fuck. A goddamn chimp. After the fact, they they are some powerful motherfuckers. After man. the fact, they put him in a coma so yeah. he could heal. That's how much pain he was in. Oh, they induced a induced coma. Induced a coma so, so he could heal. So he could lay there without having to think that a <laughs> chimp just <laughs> bit his balls off. So they could take. I'm yelling for a coma. So they can take shoulder meat off and right. now sew it back to where his <laughs> patch it. The, the oh, asshole no. protection. The ass. The part of your cheek that protects your <laughs> yeah, asshole. They gotta seal it up with his shoulder. They gotta take some fucking Teflon. Ball Balls and shove him in, make a make a sack out of his chin, like that fucking shit that hangs down when you're an old man from your chin. He grows whisker hair on his ball sack now. They just like oh, so Frankensteining him together. He doesn't have any more of the the skin that that tightens up the the what, when balloon he gets knot? scared. He they, he took his balloon knot, so it's just yeah, it all just ate all that ass. Whole. It's just whole and flatness. It's like when he sits in a chair. His asshole is directly like... <laughs> oh, my God! That... So let's hear from the guy. Here, here we go, the interview. And so we turn to St. James Davis and his wife, LaDonna. They're joined by their lawyer, Gloria Allred. And we want to warn you lawyer. that St. James' description of the attack is very, very graphic. <laughs> nice. Yeah! He's wearing a mask because, among other things, the chimpanzees who attacked him tore the nose right off his face Holy and his nose do you think you were going to die in all this i really did i i can remember donna laying on uh i don't know if she forced the chimp off of me or but i know they shot the the chimp and he fell on me and uh i could feel LaDonna grabbing me that it wasn't the chimp uh i was trying to protect my head 
too. And uh, wow, that's a Madonna just kept saying, "Please don't die on me. Please don't die on me." You remember that? I remember that, but I, I just couldn't answer answer her at the time. Yeah, I the tried to talk. Your asshole. I just, <laughs> that was one of the hardest things in the hospital. I couldn't talk. I. I, even the helicopter ride, they thought, you know, well, take him to the coroner's office. Uh, a couple other hospitals refused to take care of me or thought I was too far gone. And if they did fix me with the head bleeding and the skull injury, they figured I'd be a vegetable anyway. Wow. Whoa. Wow. A lawyer. Ripped his nose off. Than brought up a good point. He saw the video, and you could hear the guy's voice. He sounds like that guy from the original Star Wars in the cantina. My friend doesn't like you. I don't like you. I have the death sentence in five sectors. The guy that gets his like arm cut off by Obi-Wan, <laughs> his like, nose is pushed aside. <laughs> kind of looks and uh, sounds like that guy. Oh, who's this anorexic chick? Uh, no, this was, we were talking about this uh, yesterday. The really? insider with the anorexic uh, chicks from... Uh Overseas, somewhere. oh, the anorexic twins. Yeah, they weigh like forty-five pounds each. Wow, there are skin and bones People under that sweater. People are just fucked up. This is uh, all the rage on the inside. Nice like, I would, I would club them. Yeah, yeah, them. I would club without even blinking an eye. But that little no seal. Asshole. Oh. I wonder if the other chimps are going to go like, because they're going to court. Yeah. Are you suing? Are you going to put the chimp in a suit? <laughs> <laughs> and other chimps are going to try to coerce the witnesses? Hey, look. Oh, oh man. He's got to like get, your balls. Yeah, he's got he's to get something for that. Ask your wife if she likes a vagina, because she can lose it, too. If you go. I usually don't support the lawyers, <laughs> but, man, when you get that damage done to you, at least... I don't know. Who what do you do? The suing? monkey farm? Who knows? The Who monkey farm? Suing? It's your fucking monkey you would bring in the cake to. I'm the, the first lawsuit against God. Yeah, sue nature. I'm suing evolution. <laughs> yeah. Here's more of the interview. Good God. As this happened, you say you can remember it blow by blow. Yeah. Did it feel like it went by in an instant, or did time stop and just go like very slowly? Well, like a professional fighter, they get a, a stool after about three minutes to sit on or rest or break time. This went on for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I was so tired. And I was in so much pain. But I had to keep fighting. I kept, I kept telling Donna to get out of there or turn the water hose on them. And um, I never heard her uh, response out of her. And this one with the 2 by 6 was just pounding the daylights out of me. And uh, a two by six. Couple times I'd put my arm up and he hit my arm or he hit my neck or mm. back. It was just very excruciating pain. He said, Dude, he was beating him with a fucking board. A two by six. He picked up a two by Rage, six. Is that what he said? Rage. He goes this one with the two by six. Oh, I thought that was the name of the ape. No, it sounds like <laughs> some kind of chimp. There might know. have been some kind of enclosure that they were able to grab a board from. That is fascinating that they a, picked up a, and used a simple tool. Did you hear the question? Like, was it how fast was it go, was it going? Yeah. It, it's like is, is it like, over in an it, instant? It was going like this. Why he was chewing his asshole out? No. 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 Get the hose. <laughs> get the hose. He's eating my <laughs> ass. <laughs> Oh, that's slow motion. Oh. That's oh. slow motion it took, shit. It took three minutes to say ho. And my ass, ho. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been ten seconds, but at least I still have my balls. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, at least I still have my ball. Imagine. Well, eight minutes in. <laughs> oh, that's an eternity. Are you thinking that? Are you thinking that in that situation? You gotta be thinking. Are you thinking what body parts you still have? Dude, you I, I think gotta be. And are you are you I'm watching? Trying to live is like, Are you watching yeah. the chimp eat <laughs> eat eat your balls and your ass? Eating eat the nose they pull off your face. You would think, right, that the chimp would do like if the, the chimp eats your asshole. Yeah. That the anger you would have would make the chimp go, you know what, I did go too far. Well, yeah, this 
might be too far. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this has been fun. Did you just chew my ass all out? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold the whole fuck up. Hold on, hold on. See, you chew my ass all out, right? And the chip goes, uh, oh man, I, I'm sorry about that. Like Hulk, you ever see Hulk Hogan when he's getting beat up, and, and he just goes, he starts no, going, no, no, yeah, no, no. yeah, no matter how hard he's getting hit, he gets up. He's like, uh, uh-uh. uh. You would figure you would get as much anger as the chip without your asshole, right? Nigga, I know you don't just eat my motherfucking asshole. My ass? Hold on, hold my shit, babe. Now put the hose down. Yeah. Because like now I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah, like the the animals can sense fear and things like that. Can't they sense you're fucking pissed that you're getting your ass eaten by this guy? And like sit back and go, all right, maybe. Yeah, I took it too far. Yeah, yeah. And not just go, all right, let me grab his balls. I'm going to rip those off. I and his foot and his nose. Let's go to Mike from New York. Mike? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Some people call it a chimpanzee. I call it a monkey. Punching out. You can punch out. You are in a ditch. Line. You are in a ditch full of burning jet fuel, my friend. <laughs> that was a key rash landing. Oh, wow. God. Let's say hi to David in Ohio. David. Hey, you suddenly sounded like him. I was wondering if he looked like the guy from Hannibal. Uh, that was oh, put the lotion on Hannibal Lecter's head. <laughs> oh, the guy put after the he, the he ate his face when he was in the yeah. jail cell, and he like tore his face off so he could use it as a mask. Yeah. Oh, he probably did. Mm. Here we go. Oh. More of the interview. Hey, Mo. So since March 3rd, how many surgeries? 28. 28. <laughs> I've been through 28, and I roughly guess it's probably another 20 to go. Mostly skin. 20, 26 of them have been asshole surgeries. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so one face, one ball, and 26 asshole surgeries. They're trying to reconstruct uh. his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Call it an asshole specialist from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Calling Fruit Gang Hukamai. He's a professional <laughs> chimpanzee asshole. We're bringing Sergeant. in our best ass man. <laughs> We're flying him in. <laughs> oh, this is a case I have never seen before. Did a chimpanzee eat your asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting case we must solve. <laughs> I'm calling the asshole specialist. <laughs> I did not know any better. I would think an ape had eaten your asshole. <laughs> he did, you motherfucker. <laughs> 28 <laughs> surgeries, 20 to go. 20 more surgeries. <laughs> we got two more balls and 62 more asshole ones. Oh. Your asshole be fixed right up. They're just ravaging this guy like a junk. Junkyard oh. Buick trying to find a fender here. And <laughs> there'll, be, that, right. there'll be a time where he goes, listen, fuck it, keep my ass all the same. <laughs> just, just leave it alone. <laughs> you know what? I'll take plastic surgery. Just fix my face up. <laughs> just fucking using shoulder blades for his ass cheeks. Oh. And, <laughs> what oh. is this reconstruction? Oh. Bionic asshole How surgery. many parts can they get? Oh. Probably another 20 to go. <laughs> Mostly skin grafts so far? Yeah, they... No, 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 mostly off my legs uh, and my uh, side. And then prosthetically they have to rebuild a nose for you? Yeah, I don't have a nose. <laughs> Can't do Eskimo kissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a joke, but but not a joke. Yeah. No, it's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. It's got to be funny. Can't do Jesus Eskimo kids. He wants to keep this guy like so emotionally in the gutter for this interview. Yeah. He's like, oh, I can't do Eskimo kids. The guy should have said, ha ha. Yeah, yeah but he goes, that's a joke, but not a not a joke because you really don't have a fucking nose. <laughs> and I'll remind you at every turn. <laughs> and you can't uh, you can't do the bump either. <laughs> 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 the guy's trying to like cheer uh, himself up. Uh, yeah. Uh, would uh, you stay with your wife if she had an asshole out? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Would she stay with you? Like, you couldn't hit him with the no the goddamn hose. I know. The wife was probably just doing nothing. Get this monkey off me. Oh, or maybe, maybe she was getting oh. some payback <laughs> from their relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to get the hose. I'm going to get the hose. <laughs> Chew his asshole out. Chew his asshole out. Come right. on, schnookums. We have uh, one more clip. Now, you've got all these surgeries, St. James, to go through still. Uh, you have a lot of nursing care to go through, and yet you feel no bitterness toward these animals. Well, little. I know they had to shoot them, otherwise I wouldn't have been alive. 
I should point out, Mo was not part of this attack, right, Ladon? No, he, I, and I only got one glimpse of him as I was going to the to the dirt to fall, and then I roll. I looked directly at Mo, and he was scared to death. I don't think he realized what Thanks was even happening. Thanks for the help, happening. Mo. I would suspect, though, St. James, it would be awfully hard to go back to the scene <clears throat> where you got so viciously attacked. I really don't want to go back to the scene. I'd like to have him uh, maybe put elsewhere. Uh, I would feel a lot better if we could be together again. I doubt if he even knows if I'm still alive. No. We're hoping that they're going to be able like to see him. Is that, is that what we're know? working on that. You get impatient, I know, but all all good things in time. Yeah. You take care. All the best to you. Madonna, thanks. Gloria, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Don't let the door now hit you. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> You're chewed up. Are you ass. serious, dude? It's like, and poor Mo, and you know what happened? Let me tell yeah. you, because I got a tank full of goddamn cichlids. De animals bitch other animals up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like some fish, they just, you know who the boss is. That poor Mo was sitting there like I told, like if he could tell him, don't come in here, man. He probably knew Karma beforehand. Is a dick. Yeah, that this gonna motherfucker is gonna just eat your ass if you set foot in here. Did, did, did Mo is bitched up. Mo's like, Mo hey man, nothing. you know, you know, don't come in here. Do not yeah. come in here. Mo, Mo g got like well, he wasn't in control in the house, and I bet you he could come back home now and be in control because yeah. he dealt with the guy that chewed out his master's asshole. Wow. Better shoot him though. And then now Mo's gonna attack him because he's gonna go Mo, and he's gonna go. Who Mo. is this scary nigga? <laughs> yeah, this guy. You better get out of here with no asshole. Me. Where's my Where's my motherfucking Where's my daddy? Uh, had an ass. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy had an asshole. Yeah, but Conga ate it. No way. Conga. Oh boy, testicles, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're gonna eat some asshole. <laughs> nyah, 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 nyah. <laughs> hey, Mo, come on over. <laughs> hey, Mo looks scared. <laughs> <laughs> Mo just sitting in the corner as Larry and Curly eat this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> nyah, 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 nyah. He's just in the fetal position <laughs> in the corner of the cage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'll grab his foot. I'm going to bite his nose off. <laughs> oh, my God. What an awful, awful thing to have happen. That just, I'm starting Ooh. to feel the pain of that. It's just, I know. Starting? He had to get through the, the asshole protection meat. Like, there's, there's your, <laughs> A lot there's of meat your butt cheek, but there's that, yeah. asshole protection. Yeah. And then there's, like, he got to the asshole. And, and, and the, the balls. This guy must be an excruciating everything. All every day. Every day. And how obscure is it? It's like, you know what? Hey man, yeah, I got I, I was a survivor of a terrorist attack or I yeah. was tortured. I was tort but it's like you know, it's so uncool to go, Yeah, yeah, monkey. A monkey monkey got fucked my me ass. up. So it's like yeah. you're that fucked up from a monkey attack, nigga? Yeah. What, what, it's not like being in uh, Afghanistan and you're shooting at some motherfuckers and they shoot back cool and clip it. you and you lose an arm or something. Yeah. And I took out three of them and we were, you know. You should see them. Yeah, yeah. You can't even say you should see you the should monkey. You should see the monkey, no, no. man. No. Fucking monkey kick your ass and there's nothing you could do about it. That, mo that monkey sitting around, uh, well, he killed him, but he would have been sitting around eating a walnut. All the monkeys, they wouldn't even been going, man, that was some ill shit you did to that asshole. No. It was like. <laughs> Business as like, usual. You brag about that, yo. You went off from that nigga. Man, what happened, yo, man? You know, you came up in here, right? And then, you know, he just, you know, I didn't like the way he looked at me, so I'd pull his balls off, nigga. They could have thrown him in Rikers and he'd have gotten but off. But that's better. a threat that if you made it to somebody when he's getting ready to fight him, it would be so obscure, like, nigga, I'll chew your asshole out. <laughs> Rip your foot you off say? your nose. I'll take and your, your balls, balls off and chew your asshole out. You better shut your mouth. Let's go to Dave in Massachusetts. Dave! Ramon, get me an asshole. <laughs> Punch it out. All right.